Hall of Fame, presented by Factor. No means no. Most bands with a three-decade career would have a press release that spans as many reams of paper as War and Peace. However, No Means No has built their career on bending the rules, crossing the lines, and putting their sense of humor forward in equal measure with their political sensibilities. They don't do bios or photos or videos, yet they've sold hundreds of thousands of records around the world. Uh, we kind of make our, our living by playing music, but we're really not in the music business. Sort of uh, gifted amateurs. <laughs> Special dispensation for uh, Canadians. <clears throat> I don't know what it is, but yeah, we've managed to uh, do this for a lot of years without ever really getting into the big schlemmel of uh, music business. Rob and John started recording bass and drums in their parents' basement and playing with a couple of local bands, but after seeing DOA at the University of Victoria in 1979, they were inspired to explore new directions. No Me So is an anti-rape slogan, which I saw on a wall somewhere in Vancouver, and I thought, how clever. It's also in English, what your mother tells you when you're bad. No means no. It means don't ever do that again. And of course you do it as soon as she's out of the room. So it has a double meaning, a very politically correct sober meaning and a quite silly meaning. And it also looks good, it's got the no here and the no there and the means in the middle. It's a good marketing tool. No Means No first self-produced four-track release was a seven inch called Look, Here Comes the Wormies. Recorded in 1980, there were only 500 copies printed. The single featured Rob Wright on bass, vocals, and guitar, and John Wright on drums, keyboards, and vocals. After two EPs, No Means No released their first full-length album, Mama, in 1982. Rob and John then convinced Andy Kerr to join them. The chemistry worked, and the first album featuring Andy on guitar, You Kill Me, was released in 1985. Two more albums followed, Sex Mad in 1986, and the day everything became isolated and destroyed in 1988. No Means No traveled to Europe for their first tour, and their song Dad from Sex Mad received substantial college radio airplay. The release of Wrong in 1989 was a turning point. Considered by many as a pinnacle album by No Means No, both CD and vinyl continue to sell steadily online and in collector shops. After eight years of continuous touring, Andy Kerr moved to Amsterdam, leaving Rob and John as a two-piece band again, playing all the instruments on their next release, Why Do They Call Me Mr. Happy. Let me guess, something between one and ten. That's right, it, it's something like, what the type of? When Tom Holliston played with the band at Alternative Tentacles' 100th release party in San Francisco, No Means No found their new guitarist. 1994 saw No Means No touring with a second drummer, and it also marked the beginning of their second band project, The Hanson Brothers. Uh, the Hansons is really, a, you know, it's a poking fun. It's poking fun at hockey, poking fun at punk rock. It's just making fun of whatever we happen to be thinking about at the time. Yeah, <laughs> so, and in doing it in as, as, as dumb of a fashion as we can, yeah, you know. Right, so. right. No toured extensively in Europe and North America throughout the 1990s and released their album One in 2000. Then, in 2006, a new full-length album was released. All Roads Lead to Osfart was an homage to the country where No Means No had found their biggest audience. We are three Canadian boys who have grown up to be three Canadian old men. And during the course of those 30 years, we play some punk rock in a little different style than a lot of punk rock, but it's always loud and aggressive and rocking. And our intent has always been to, to be millionaires. Uh, we're still not there yet, but we're trying. No Means No continues to tour when they want, do what they want, and say whatever comes out, changing the rules, but still maintaining an incredible worldwide fan base. The Western Canadian Music Alliance 
is pleased to welcome No Means No into the Western Canadian Music Hall of Fame.